Uh, we're obviously very excited about uh, the 14 players who signed with us uh, today. You know, we think that Henry Ruggs and uh, Devontae Smith are both very explosive guys. We've had them in camp for a couple years. Uh, very fast, very explosive. They played that way for their teams. My first workout, I, I was coming from class and I was late. So I'm running in, I'm running in. I throw my workout shirt on and it's inside out. And everybody's just looking at me like, hey, what you got going on, you know? And after the workout, I walk back to the um, to the dorm, and I call Coach Anderson. I'm like, bro, something gotta change, man. My skills, are, my skills ain't it ain't gonna work. Like the time they want me to work out, I ain't gonna be able to make it between between then and my class because I gotta walk all the way back, and then I gotta get dressed and stuff. He was just like, this ain't for everybody, and hung up the phone. And I'm just, that's when it hit me. Like, yeah, I, now I gotta I gotta man up and do it on my own. Now, of course, I, I started this. Started to get there on time. You know, once we got to 707, just doing routes and stuff like that, I was going against going against Mika, and he just, you know, kind of just jacked me up and just choked me. I'm like, I don't belong here. This ain't for us, bro. Why we can't heal? We should have went somewhere else. And we was just crying. Everybody feel like that, especially that first year, because you don't know what to expect. You got Coach Saban, who's going to be on all the freshmen. Man, it's hard. It's hard to play at Bama. It's, it's not easy at all. I don't care how big they were or what they could do or what they did. I'm going to show you who I am and what I can do. The very first touchdown at Alabama was when the threes up started. The very first touchdown. See, some people actually come to me and ask me sometimes, well, are those threes for the third, Henry Rose third? I said, no, nah, this was his friend. That is his partner, Rod Scott, who uh, was killed in a car accident. And I said, Rod was number three. And every time he does something in his honor, Trey is gonna throw up those threes for him. Just, just throwing up that three whenever I do something is, is always for him. And now we'll, oh, he will throw. And he threw a strike to Rubs down the sideline. Has five catches of the year. They're all touchdowns. From and the dogs, thirteen nothing. Coach Daybo came over to me and he was like, hey, keep your head up, you good. I just looked at him like, just give me a chance. I, that, that was my exact words. I'm like, just, just give me a chance. Throwing again. Ends up. Touchdown! Henry Ruggs! We got a freshman quarterback duel in Atlanta and the Tide are back in it. I just wanted to to be there to make that spark. Let me let me spark the team or give give y'all the you know the energy that we need to, to come back into the game. It was a great moment. My baby going in his first year, doing the things that he did on the field the first year, and then you come in with a national championship your first year. I think he said that he know his dad is gonna be proud of him and I told him, baby, you know I am. Yes I am. Bought me the hat. You know, hey, and it was all Smile and tears then, baby. Sophomore year when when Tua kind of took the role, the, the offense kind of kind of changed to more of a, a, a pass first offense. Of course we're Alabama, so we're gonna run the ball. But it was more more pass oriented because of the playmakers that we had on the outside and we had Tua to get us the ball. We were a smaller group of receivers. We weren't the, you know, the typical six two, six three type guys and we were all fast, and we knew once we get the ball in our hands, we were going to make our plays. So the ride outs, that was our nickname, the ride outs, R-Y-D-E or U-T-S. And that was, that was what we lived by, that when we say let's ride, like throw it up, we're going to get it.
He's always been, um, you know, a physical player. He's very explosive, strong, uh, he's tough, uh, he's got some power. You know, he kind of has always had those qualities and I think because he's playing with more confidence now, they're, they're showing up even more than ever before. He struggled a lot with making the decision to leave or stay. My brothers, like I said, I got them, I got them tatted on my arm. My, I said it's my brother's keeper, and that, that's something I live by. I said the oldest um, is Courtney Timmons. I, we call him Tech, so that's what I got. Then Tuka is Henry Timmons. Darius Williams. Then, like I said, it's me. Then Cavante Ruggs and Johnny Darby. Because he is so family oriented, he is extremely devoted to making sure that he opens a door for Kevante because he knows what his brother is capable of. The decision came down to, to my younger brother. Coach Saban was saying he would, he would give my brother the opportunity to come, that you know I could stay, I could play with my younger brother, he can come in in the, in the summer once he graduated. However, um, we just didn't feel that it was genuine, and I'm just gonna be honest. I, I really felt like it was just a decision to keep Henry there. He ended up basically telling me, just take advantage of the opportunity now and don't wait on it. And he was just like, I, I appreciate everything that you're doing. I appreciate you trying to, you know, trying to help me out and get me, get me back on track, but, you know, take advantage of your opportunity and don't, don't waste it. I, I'm a man, I'm gonna have to do it for myself. And that was, that was all I needed. You know, I'm just happy for him. You know, as someone like my little brother, someone I hosted as a, when he was a recruit. And, you know, just to see him develop over the years and become the player he were from Little League all the way up to where he at right now. You know, it's, 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 a, it's an honor for me just to be able to, to have someone like that. You know, I can call a little brother that's in my life. And uh, I know he's ready. You know, he, he, he's, he's gonna do great things this year.